What's up guys, welcome back to Japan. Today's video is freaking awesome. I have this sweet van dealership right by my house. I came, it's called Jokers. They have all these sick highs that I like slam with aftermarket wheels and modifications and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, I pulled up and this one dude has a really clean EG hatch. Let's check it out real fast. Let's check out this really clean EG hatch. It's got <laughs> great fitment on the wheels. Oh, inky RFP ones, RFP ones, RF. Got the nice inky wheels that everybody loves. It does have a roll cage inside. Aftermarket seats, but it's got a racing harness. Nardy steering wheel. Gutted interior. You can see the full roll cage inside. Single ex exhaust, pretty unique. He came over here and I showed him my car. And, uh, we were just admiring each other's stuff. He liked it, gave me a bunch of thumbs up. <laughs> but let's check out these vans. So we'll start off, I think from gl first glance, they all look like Toyota Hiuses. And they do have prices on them, so I can tell you guys how much they cost. Here's a Hiuss lowered on some white mesh wheels. You want the white on white? This is how much space these things have. We'll check out, I mean, it's such a cool culture. The van culture out here in Japan is second to none. And they always have different rides out here. So these things must get bought up pretty quickly. It's got another black highest for 14,000. The, the white one with the white wheels is about $17,000. And these all look relatively new. Check out the aftermarket wheels. Got the aggressive gloss black with the red stripe around the, the wheel, the outer rim there. I'm telling you, the van culture out here in Japan, man. Here's another one. White and black. Lower on some aftermarket wheels. I just think they're so cool. Something like, you don't see this kind of stuff in the States very often. The fact that, and the really, these vans are slammed. Look how much clearance the rear of this van has. So I'm not sure if they just sell things. It looks like they also perform maintenance. Got some aftermarket wheels. This one looks to be getting all the carpet removed, maybe replaced. The entire interior stripped out. This place is really cool. I got the aftermarket wheels. <laughs> what is this hood for? We can't access anything except for the radiator and the coolant tanks. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, that blue is nice. Woo. Check out the aftermarket. He's got a front end conversion. Angry face. Yeah, angry face. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, it has like eyelids. The whole front hood has been replaced to make the front end look more aggressive. It has a aftermarket lip on it. That is so sick. Check out the wheels. Man, look at <laughs> I don't know if you can see that in there. Check out the intake. That's awesome. This fitment is on point though. Aftermarket wheels, these things are slammed too. There's not much room, but all the fenders have been rolled in preparation to <laughs> be dumped. Oh, oh, check this out. What, the, what van is this? Yo. <laughs> That is awesome. Oh my gosh. Absolutely, absolutely the VIP treatment. Check this out. Got a TV, cup holders, AC. It's got some surround sounds, got lights everywhere. This must be a show car for them. Got the VIP luxury leather seats, that recline. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. This is a party bus, man. I think, <laughs> I definitely think we need one of these. Obviously, it's painted jet black. <laughs> that is awesome. The sound system here is kicking. This is perfect. It's got the welcome mat, <laughs> welcome home. That is awesome. Is that a show car? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can tell. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> Don't touch my highest. That is awesome. Check out the dual exhaust. These things are sitting super low. Dang. No wonder it sounded good. <laughs> Gigantic TV in the rear. Rock for Fosgate with like tens. Got amps. This is so sick. The TV, I'm just blown away. I did not come here expecting to be wild like this. This is so cool. You can see all the lights for the show whenever they're doing all their stuff. You got outlets so I can plug stuff in. This is really, really incredible. This is why I love Japan. Oh, oh it's amazing. The, wow, the car culture. Oh, it's amazing. It's so cool. <laughs> In America, you would never see this with vans. It's so awesome. Oh, my goodness. That is perfect. Perfect. I still love the sticker. Don't touch my highest. That's, that's the best sticker. <laughs> oh, man. The paint. I don't know if you can see the quality of this paint is really, really good. It's immaculate. Super reflection. There's not a dent on it. It's got amazing fitment. Oh, got amazing fitment. Jeez. Got projector headlights. It looks like an aftermarket grill. Everything, the whole thing has been changed. I mean, I don't know much about these vans, but this thing, I don't know if it's a different trim of the highest because it is taller. It has, I don't know if you can see, it has the extra roof line there. So it's about a foot and a half taller than all the other vans. That is beautiful. It's got some carbon fiber side skirt extensions. <laughs> that is so sick. Man, I need one of these vans. That is crazy. I just want <laughs> all of them. I think the, the culture out here in Japan is so amazing. You can tell the guys that work here truly appreciate cars. I pulled up. Uh, they came out and checked out my car. They showed me the Civic. We were checking it all out. Uh, everybody's full of smiles. Oh, check out the blinkers. That is cool. Really, I mean, this whole van has been modified so much. Nothing has been left untouched. I just can't get over how the fitment is so, it's really, really good. It's like so close, it almost won't pass JCI, but it has just enough give to where it will. That is awesome. I don't know if you guys can see on the screen, but he's actually watching regular cable TV on this big TV. I don't know if it's showing up or not, but he's like, I guess I was polarized, I guess you can't see it. But he's actually watching like <laughs> news was just on, and it was a game show, and now, now it looks like a movie. He's literally just flipping through channels. <laughs> that is so crazy. Man, this place is so cool. <laughs> and check out this other one. Competing for the cleanest. The fitment on this is incredible. Look at these wheels. The stands on these vans, I just can't get over. The culture here. Oh, it's just amazing. Oh, it's got some uh, metal flake in the black paint. Aftermarket exhaust. Yo, man. So this is I'm telling you guys, if you haven't been to Japan, you got to come check out the car, the car, the car culture in general. They have everything from big old semi trucks to GTR supers, obviously that, but they have the big semi trucks, the van culture, the Honda gang, the Bosuzuko gang, like all the stuff here is amazing. <laughs> Evo? Yeah. What was that? Uh, Integra. Oh, okay. Oh, it was Integra? Oh. <laughs> Integra drove by. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to wrap up for this video. I got to give a huge shout out to these gentlemen right here. They gave me the tour. They showed me around stuff. We, we kept our social distancing. I had my mask on all that good stuff, but they gave me a tour. If you are here in Okinawa, you got to stop by Jokers. You have to check out their stock. I drive by every almost every other day and there's always new stuff out here uh last time there was like a black van some big 20 i think it was like 22s and it was like slammed all over the ground so it must have been sitting on bags but hope you guys enjoyed the video japanese car culture at its best i can't get over it i never get sick of this it's been a great day like comment as always i'll see you next time